And tonight about a former University of Texas basketball player accused of murder and then released from the Williamson County Jail last week. All charges against him dropped. First, we want to get to that new information tonight. KXAN has uncovered a civil lawsuit in Williamson County involving Patrick Fairs. It shows he was the primary beneficiary of a $300 plus thousand dollar life insurance policy on his former girlfriend, the woman he was accused of killing. Now that may show motive, but defense attorneys say it is a far cry from proving Fairs is a killer. Last Friday, former UT basketball player Patrick Fairs flashed the hook'em sign as he breathed his first free air in more than a year, hugged his attorney Jeremiah Williams, who fought to have the murder charge against his client dismissed, and won. The proper protocol would be for the prosecutor to have all his ducks in a row, DNA, fingerprints, where he, the prosecutor, would know personally that I've got a solid good case, not to basically fire first and then ask questions later. Williams said that's what happened when Fairs was arrested in 2011, more than five years after his live-in girlfriend Felice Estes was strangled in the home they shared in Williamson County. He said prosecutors charged and arrested Fairs and then failed to test any evidence during the year he was in jail awaiting trial. Years could go by before a prosecutor says, you know what, let's go through all the evidence, let's see what we have, and then they selectively would pick items to be tested. KXAN legal analyst and former prosecutor Mindy Montfort says it's not unusual that a prosecutor wouldn't test all the evidence collected at a crime scene, but... What we don't know is why it took so long to file. You know, originally they had evidence, they didn't file, then suddenly in 2011 they file it. And now here he is being released a year later and he spent a year in jail. So it does beg into question what changed. You know, what changed from when they first got the case to 2011 and then what has changed now? District Attorney John Bradley isn't saying. In a statement to KXAN, he says, quote, in due course, the new information will be presented to a grand jury for a decision. I'm comfortable that the prosecutors have handled the case professionally and appropriately during a complex investigation. Montford believes the high profile exoneration of Michael Morton is one reason why Fairs is a free man today. I think more and more attorneys are, are looking at these cases, certainly prosecutors and judges are looking at these cases a little bit differently in that, and this is a perfect example of one, if there is any inkling that this person might not have done this and if there is possible evidence that exonerates him, then why not let him out? and, and Continue the investigation, but don't make the person sit in jail while it's pending. Well, Fares has returned to California where he runs a basketball camp. But as you heard in that statement from D.A. Bradley, this case is still under investigation and will be presented again to a grand jury.